We're a little shook here this morning. Uh, if you see it in our eyes, our guest from the El Paso Zoo just walked in and we got, oh, we got a really good We got a treat coming. for you. This is going to be some must watch TV. Cameras. Press the record <laughs> button on your DVR. You're going to want to save this one for the personal collection. It's going to be, uh, this one's going to be great. It's going to be great, but uh, I want to take my mind off of this. Let's talk yeah, about let's weather talk for about a the second. Weather first. All right, if you're just joining us uh, this morning, it is a lot chillier right now than it was yesterday morning. Oh, we yeah. were in the 70s. Look at us right now. 58 degrees, mm. 54 in cruises. We're getting closer to cruises. There was such a big difference yesterday. And we're almost week. 20 degrees cooler than we were, I think, on Thursday. Yeah. Thursday, we were hitting 77 degrees. 77, so we're right. almost 20 degrees cooler than we were that day, which is crazy to think how much that mm -hmm. can change over two days just with one tiny little low pressure system that rolled through. But like you said, we're warming up this weekend. And then, of course, Monday, I think, is the day everybody has their their eyes on our Robert Bettis mm -hmm. forecasting nearly 101 degrees on that day. So uh, it's going to come with the caveat though on Monday. Yes, we shall see strong winds, mm. uh, most likely up to 50 miles per hour. But today back to the 90s and nice conditions overall. And those winds aren't going to be around. So if you take a look at your El Paso Honda Golf Index today, we're giving it an A 10 to 20 mile an hour winds today. That shouldn't be too bad. Club up maybe a club or a club and a half and you should be fine going into some of those greens.